What's up, YouTubers? Jose Quinones the CNC dude here. Hey, sorry, I've been uh, so delinquent on my videos lately. You know, I've been, I've been doing a lot of uh, work around the house, boring stuff. I don't want to bore you with that. But I do want to do a quick chop update. If you will recall, I acquired this machine about a year ago. Actually, it was uh, a year and five days ago. But who's keeping track of time? It's not like I host birthday parties to my machine. Happy birthday, dear me. Happy birthday to you. But anyway, this machine became available when a gentleman who unfortunately passed uh, left all of this equipment in a garage filled with machinists and electronic stuff. So their family put the ad on, uh, on Facebook and I acquired a machine and a bunch of tooling and, uh, uh, and the grinder. Now, a few months go by and the family called me. Hey, you know, we still have this stuff. You're welcome to go through it and buy it all if you want. And uh, I did remember the gentleman had a lot, of, a lot of goodies, but you know, there was also a lot of stuff that I could not use. Um, so I agreed to meet with them, buy as much as I could, but definitely not everything, because I would have had to hire like a moving company. That's how much stuff was in the garage. So definitely, I just uh, wanted to acquire the meaningful stuff. And you know, in a way, I kind of feel bad because it's like, uh, you know, do I help them out and I just get rid of everything so that they don't have to worry about that stuff anymore? Uh, but at the same time, if I get everything, now I got to store it and, you know, go through it. It's like, it's like this mixed feeling that I have. Um, I think I was able to help them as much as possible and get a few goodies in return. But however, what I want to show you, it's, uh, you know, this problem, um, this, this concept of uh, somebody's trash is somebody else's treasure, where in my case, uh, this is a, there is a lot of uh, somebody's trash is still somebody's trash. So let me show you some of the goodies that I acquire, and then some of the stuff that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with, uh, and I'm basically have been struggling with for the past few weeks. I am here in front of one of the two cabinets that were filled to the brim with just stuff, stuff for the gentleman's projects, and they were all sorted out in little containers like this. Great way of storing material. Um, five shelves, actually nine shelves in total. There's four in this one and five on the other. Filled with stuff like, you know, look at this. Uh, ball bearings, uh, gears, uh, lots and lots of gears of every possible kind. Am I ever gonna use them? Who knows, maybe, I don't know. Um, electronic stuff, uh, motors. Uh, these are, this is the stuff that I can use, uh, buffing material, grinding, grinding wheels, staplers, nomadic tools, uh, cables, wires, a uh, whole bunch of different things. Uh, these are the ones that I see myself maybe using and probably having some kind of value, but this is less than half of the stuff that was in there. Uh, and by the way, you know, I say that I might be able to use some of these things, but I already know that some of this stuff is like completely arcane to me. Some, uh, what, 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 what on earth is this contraption here? Uh, some kind of valve. I mean, am I, am I ever going to use something like that? Completely doubt it. But the other problem that I'm going to have is, let's face it, all of this stuff in here, I have already forgotten what's inside. I mean, I went through this a few weeks ago. I put it there because I thought, oh yeah, that's something that I could use in the future. But I have already forgotten that it's here. <laughs> Next, the, 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 day, the, the day that I need it, do you actually think I'm gonna remember that I have it in here? I'm not gonna remember. So I'm just gonna say, oh, I need this part, let me go and buy it. When it was already here, it's just too much stuff. So my brain cannot process all of that. Um, and this is the stuff that I believe that I might be able to use, but like I said, this is less than half of the stuff that was in this cabinet. So now I have to find or do something with the other more than half. All right, so check it out. Here is just a portion of the stuff that was on those cabinets. And, and you know, these are basically pieces of something, of some contraction that the gentleman was working on. And uh, it's a bunch of material, you know, it's already shaped material, already has uh, a form, so it's not like I can go into making something out of it. Um, I could probably cut pieces of it, but probably this is just junk. I mean, what am I going to do with it? Here's a funny thing. So I find these two parts in here. This is very heavy, by the way. And I'm wondering, what on earth is this for? Well, it turns out there were also these two blanks. So clearly this is what it all 
started from, and the guy had this giganto lathe, so probably he made this with the lathe and the uh, Tormac. Um, or I don't know, maybe he was just trying to copy this and never got to it. I have no idea, right? I mean, I have no idea what these things were. I do know that the gentleman was involved with the oil industry, so these were probably um, like these gigantor uh, sensors. And actually, by pure chance, I went to a museum a few weeks ago with the family. Uh, it was uh, one of those uh, oil rigs where they extract the oil from the seas. And I saw something that resembled some of the stuff that the guy was building because the guy had some of this on his garage. I didn't buy any of that. I could have if I had bought the whole garage. But you know, I mean, these are things that are something probably valuable to somebody, but to me, I'm never gonna be able to even figure out what the heck they are, unless you tell me what they are. Some kind of bulb, I have to say, I have to imagine. Bruninghaus, hydromatic, GmbH, German. I bet this stuff is incredibly expensive. I mean, it came from Germany, so that by itself, and it's brand new, it still has the, the locks. I mean, I don't know, probably at least 100 bucks, I have to imagine, but who the heck is gonna buy this, right? I mean, I would have to, by pure chance, find somebody on YouTube that is like, holy crap, that's what I need! Send it to me! Here is a pile of uh, some, some of the material. You know, these are things that, uh, this is probably nomadic. Again, I mean, this, these are things that are already shaped, so will I be able to use them? Probably not. This, of course, I can use for something, but only if I remember that I have it. Here is an intriguing one. This is some kind of door. I mean, this guy was making these huge cylinders. I bet this is a stainless steel. I mean, these things would have been in the sea. And I think everything that he did was in stainless. So a lot of stainless in here, I bet. Uh, I'm thinking this could almost be like an R32 door, except that, of course, the radius is the incorrect one. Um, I don't know. Something that looks fun, but what am I going to do with it? Bunch of Allen wrenches. Of course, I can use that. But, you know, it's not like I don't have Allen wrenches. Bunch of bolts, which are always enticing as this is stuff that you can use. But remember, you would need to sort through them and know that you have them. So this is probably going to sit in a corner of the shop and then I'll have to remember that it's there. And what, the day that I need something, I'm going to have to go and check on it. I bet these are stainless steel. They look like stainless steel. Could be anodized, but um, who knows? And these blocks are intriguing and they are offset. I'm not sure why, but intriguing stuff nonetheless. This is one I wanted to show you guys because I don't know why I have the impression this is something out of something that could be handy. Uh, again, I don't even know what it is, but it says ENCO and then it says made in Sweden 0 0.001. 205-5000. I could probably try to find out what that is and it has this ball bearing here. Um, I have to surmise that maybe this is some kind of something that articulates this guy. But again, it looks like a part of something, not a something. So obviously this would only work for somebody that already has the rest of it. This is clearly a part of a, one of those 5C colored indexes. Could I ever use this? Um, did you can buy the whole thing for like 20 bucks? Why would I bother? This looks like, um, I think I've seen this on lathes. I don't know, uh, like a collet, one of those collet exchangers. And then, you know, these four ball bearings, I bet these are friggin' expensive, but this looks, they look used, and actually, look at that, this one is jammed. So these were probably replaced. Um, this one feels okay, so probably for a wimpy little project, they might be okay, but I bet these are worn out, right? This, this looks like they were exchanged. So for anything precision, they wouldn't work. For some kind of cheesy project, sure. I will probably use them. You know, here's a pile of, uh, th these parts look fantastic. Like, I, like if I were to make a robot that is just a work of art, this would be tremendous ornament. I mean, look, just to, to make this part, it would take me a week. Um, but then again, this stuff is heavy, so I'm not sure that I want to put this in a rubber where you're trying to make light. Um, you know, great looking parts, but, but what am I gonna use them for?
it's probably, probably, I mean, I, I guess you need to have a lot of imagination to make use of them. And time. You know, I could probably turn this into like ninja stars, and if there is a zombie apocalypse, I could go, whew, psst, take that sucker. But you know, it's basically boxes and boxes of junk, 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 uh, lots of old, incredibly old electronics. And how do I know? Because of these chips are freaking 1970s and 1980 technology. Um, Halliburton, that's a famous name. Halliburton Logging Services. Yeah, this is for like logging stuff on the oil industry. I am never gonna be able to use this for anything. Uh, who knows if I have some toxic material in here. I hope not. Maybe it should be wearing gloves. But you know, it's basically piles and piles of junk that now I'm gonna have to somehow either store or get rid of. Um, so, you know, that's, that's, that's the kind of, of thing that makes me wonder if this was a good move at all. Well, YouTubers, I think I'm done with the sorting. Not because I'm done with the sorting, but just because I am tired of the sorting. There is no way I'm gonna be able to find any logical pattern here. This is just a bunch of junk that is going to be, it's gonna be stored for eons to come. So I'm just gonna close this one last time. You know, this kind of reminds me of that movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark, when, uh, when the Ark is stored on this uh, giganto warehouse for all eons to come, and pretty much everybody knows, that's it, it's gone forever. Nobody's ever gonna find that again. Um, but you know, this kind of what's going to happen with this stuff in here. I, I, th there is no way I'm, I'm, I'm going to be able to figure out how to do with this. It's just, it's just going to be here waiting for, for, for until I die. And then my kids are going to open this up one day and be like, whoa, what the heck? What is all this junk? Uh, if we could only find some, uh, some nut job that can take it off our hands, they'll just sell it all to somebody else. I will have to keep it up store for eons to come just like me. Um, you know, it's a, a few years ago, I would have had a, access to a service called LBC Moving. This was like an auction company. They had like a, like industrial slop, surplus is what it was. And I could take all of my junk and just put it there and do, somebody would buy it. Uh, for peanuts, right? I mean, it was basically 20 bucks for a whole lot. Uh, but that's a way of disposing all of this stuff and somebody else just figures out what they want to do with it. If they want to recycle the steel, the copper, whatever. Pff. That's, uh, that's what they do. Uh, but that place went out of business, so of course uh, I don't have a means of, of, of repeating that, uh, those steps. That would be fantastic for it. That's how I used to like, regain some of my space, by just dumping everything that I knew. Dude, this, there is no way I'm ever going to use this. Just pff, get rid of it. Um, if you are aware of any other similar service around here in the, in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, man, put it in the comments. I'm definitely eager to know because I have, I have been piling on too much junk. It's time to, to do a cleanup for sure. Uh, please feel, feel free to check out, uh, check out our Facebook page and hit like if you want. Uh, it's kind of the same thing that I do here on YouTube, but just, just to keep the social networking going. I do want to thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel and I'm going to see you on the next one.